Another great way to grow the number of users in your chatbot is by using your website. With MobileMonkey, you can put a Facebook Messenger-like widget on your website or put a widget on your website in your own website's branding. But the best part of MobileMonkey is that you can also put both widgets at the same time on your website. So let's see how we can create this inside MobileMonkey. If you want a chatbot on your website, in MobileMonkey you can use the OmniChat widget. So we can just go to chatbot and then we go to website chat widgets. And here we can click on the website chat widget. And the biggest benefit of the website chat widget of MobileMonkey is that it really differs from other chatbot software. Because with most other chatbot software you can or choose to have a Facebook Messenger like widget or to have a widget in your own branding. But with Mobile Monkey, you can use both of them because they have the Omni Chat widget. And I will explain just in a bit what that is. So, first, you can see here we got the web chat and we have the messenger. So, it's a different icon. You can set the color of the icon, but I think blue uh, is pretty good. And then we go to shape and position. And you can choose the shape which can be round or it can be rectangular and you can uh, set the position to for example bottom right or bottom left you can also disable the animation here and show some shape shadow but what about the omni chat widget so the omni chat widget what it does is it detects whether the user is already logged into facebook if the user is logged into Facebook, he will send, he will use the messenger widget like this. If the user isn't logged into Facebook, he will use the web chat widget like this. So the benefit of the mobile monkey omni chat widget is that you can serve two kinds of customers. You have the users that are on, are on Facebook and you have users that aren't on Facebook and you can have the same, you can use the same chatbot to handle them both so that's a great benefit and you can click here to customize so by default the omni chat is enabled but if you want for any reason to just only have the facebook messenger or only have the web chat that's also an option but i would just leave it to default then we go can go to next and here we can set up the greeting so what message is the is the a web is the widget sending to the user so for example we can send hi how can I help you um, or that's kind of a static greeting or you can also send the first message in a dialogue but I think I really like the static greeting so I would just use both the same and hi how can I help you then we have the web chat greeting so this is the messenger greeting this will only show when you click on the on the messenger um, the web chat greeting is you can sign you can use it in, in, in two ways like static and then it says hello how can I help you today or interactive and if you have it interactive you can already type in something without clicking on this widget and I think the interactive is just way better than the um, than the static one you can also click on this button and this will display a profile you can also use uh, my own profile if you want to but because it's a company I would just uh, use the chat on my test and you can set it to custom or use the first me message in a dialogue so this is really the same as we can set up here uh, but we can also choose between interactive or static I like the interactive one uh, so we go for the interactive one and then we have the greeting behavior and the greeting behavior is really uh, when does it show so does it show on desktop so you can say yes it always shows on desktop or you can always hide it and you can show the greeting on the initial page load so on the first page but if a user goes to the second page then it won't load again so on mobile you can set the same settings and you also can set a greeting delay for example if you want want to wait for 10 seconds or 30 seconds then um, the greeting will only appear after 30 seconds so we will set it to 10 seconds I think it's nice and we can just click on next and 
then we can choose a dialog for our website visitors. So what messages are we going to send to the user? And we can just send this regular one, but we can also just use one we already had, like the welcome message that we already created. So we just send the welcome message and we can click on next. Then we can decide when the chat icon will be displayed. So now we are making just a general website chat for all of our pages. But you can also make a website chat for just one page. And this is really useful if you want to send different messages per page. For example, on the home page you can set, hi, how can I help you? And on the reservation page you can say, how, hi, uh, can I help you with making a reservation? So you can specify those things and if you want to do that you can say okay the current URL is and then you can specify the URL but because we're now making a general website chat widget we will just say it's any page we will show it on desktop and mobile and we will show it for first-time visitors and returning visitors so we can also say that we want to hide this chat widget during off hours so we can set our custom we can customize our business hours so we are in our example, we are a restaurant and a restaurant is almost every day open. So this is pretty accurate. But for example, if we are a software company, they don't work in the weekend. They only work from Monday to Friday. So then you can set your business hours and you uh, can say only show the web chat widget if it's during business hours. So if we go back, we can click on next, next. And then we need to install the customer widget. So what type of website are we using? We're using WordPress. And what's my website URL? This is my website URL. Are we using Google Tag Manager? No. And then we have this code. And you can just send this code to a developer, which will do it for you. You can install this code yourself by adding it to the head of your website uh, in the head section. Uh, but because I'm using WordPress, I will show you how you can do this with WordPress because they also have a WordPress plugin. So if you click on the install WordPress plugin, you will go to their page and we will copy this title. So this is my website and I will just go to the back end, to the dashboard of WordPress and plugins. I will click on add new. And here I can search for this plugin and I can install it. So this will make sure that the uh, the web the chat widget for my website is appearing on my WordPress website um, by using this WordPress plugin. So now we can connect the Facebook page. So you need to log into Facebook. Continue as Joran. And then we can select the page. So we select the Chatomize test. And then our it's set up. So if we go back, we've run all those things, but we need to click on activate. Once we click on activate, we can see it on our website. So just to test it out, we will go to the site. Then maybe purge some cache because sometimes there's some cache in the way which will not show the, the widget. And if we re reload the page again, it takes the time to reload it. But then you can see here we got our Facebook Messenger widget. And after 10 seconds, it will automatically make a greeting. But we can also click on it and then we can continue as Joran or continue as guest. So if we go for continue as Joran, you can see all the messages I had before and also the welcome message. I will also show you if you just use an incognito window how it will look because then I'm not logged into Facebook anymore. And then it will show the web chat widget with exactly the same messages. Hey guest, I'm the chatbot of restaurant XYZ. What would you like to do? If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and if you didn't do it yet, please hit the like button below.